Am I the asshole for not letting my sill add my kids to the chore list? My sill lives in a fairly large 6BD farmhouse on 10 acres. We are building a home across the street and in the meantime, we have a camper parked on SIL's property. The only time we go into her house is to use the bathroom or shower we have electricity in the camper but no running water. The rest of the time we are across the street building and our kids 14 meters. 12 f. 8 meters are with us helping. We pay SIL $180 a week to park our camper there. Which is campground prices. Late afternoon yesterday my SIL asked us to all come inside to talk and she pulls up her chore list. With my kids names added to it. Things like laundry. Dishes. Cleaning the living room. Sweeping. Mopping. Cleaning table countertops. Garbage. Returnables. Even helping cook meals we do not eat with them. Etc. She said does this work for you? I won't let anyone clean the bathroom because I'm the only one who does it properly. I immediately said no. My kids don't even go in her house unless they are showering or shitting so if anything. I'd make them clean the bathroom. Not the rest of the house that they don't use. I'm not going to be making them do chores to that extent for simply using the bathroom. After they've been helping us all day with building our home. My sill, who works all the time, says the kids are in here much more than that because all my snacks are gone and I always come home to a trashed house and I didn't before you guys started staying here. She's clearly not putting two and two together with the fact that her own daughter has had consistent friends over for the past two weeks since school let out and her husband does nothing to parent which I brought to her attention. My kids don't eat her food at all either. I've made a point to preach to my kids about minimizing our footprint here for this specific reason her trying to blame my kids for her trashed house. My husband is saying that maybe I should just allow her to add the kids to one or two chores a week to keep his sister at bay but I've refused. We pay to be here and we do not go indoors at all unless it's for the bathroom. As I've stated, my kids are not going to be scrubbing her house top to bottom for using a restroom and I have since told my husband we need to create an outhouse system on our property so we don't have to go in there at all. He says I'm making things more difficult when in reality, I'm protecting my kids from being used. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. She's either trying to get free labor or being willfully ignorant of her daughter's behavior. You pay rent. Anything more is extortionate. Not the asshole. Try to get as soon as possible a porta potty or similar system on your own yard. Did you have water on your yard running? Invest some bucks to install your own bathroom temporary. It will be worth every cent. It will giving you freedom and peace. Not the asshole first off. She should have come to you before whipping out the chore assignment. She's not in change of you or your family. Tell her you are paying for the inconvenience of you being there and anything beyond that has to be discussed first. Not the asshole. Your sill is blaming your kids because it's easier to do that than see her child and her husband are. The problem. I agree with setting up something at your new property so your kids don't have to enter her house. Maybe a compostable toilet and outdoor shower would work while you are under construction. Not the asshole. Having your kids take a turn at the bathroom cleaning would be reasonable. Because you use that. Nothing else is reasonable. Because you don't use that. Not the asshole. Your kids shouldn't be expected to be maids for a house they didn't help trash. They could be expected to help clean the bathroom but she doesn't want him to. And that's on her.
not the asshole she's trying to exploit your children for free labor and it's weird that your husband is trying to compel you to go along with it. Stick to your guns and don't let her turn your kids into personal servants. Not the asshole. I see location flag that after you moving in. Auntie will go on with her demands. And it's so typical when daddy is on his family side aka sister and forgot that he should be fair. To his children and wife too. You know the family he chose to build. Can't you order a outer house shower with a tank? It should be possible. Where I live you can order water tanks. Info is there a reason why you can't move the camper to your own property? Not the asshole. The only way to stop it is to move your camper onto your land. Make out house system and stop paying her. Not the asshole. If you are sure they don't e come in then there is no need to have them help her with chores. You are paying for your stay there. Look into renting a porta potty and put your trailer and the porta potty on your land. Not the asshole. She's trying to take advantage of your kids for free labor. Good on you mama for calling out her BS. Her own kids and hubby can clean the mess they make themselves. Your family is not involved in that. Not the asshole Sill could put the $180 towards a maid if the cleaning issue is that great I completely understand why you're paying them to stay. Even though I couldn't see charging family in the same situation. Your husband should also have your back on this. It's his family. He should be the point person on telling his sister no. While husband is understandably trying to compromise. I don't see it working more time spent in the house means more opportunities for getting blamed. For things. If you're paying campground prices. Why don't you just stay at a campground? As soon as I got to the point where your husband rolled over and told you to have the kids do. Whatever Syl says I knew that was the real problem. Info. I feel like there is a lot of information missing here. How do you do dishes and laundry? How come you are so confident about your accounting of your three kids activities and so confident? That she and her husband are wrong about their one child. You have two kids very close in age to her daughter. Do they not interact at all? You know for a fact that your children don't stop off for a snack when coming or going. This seems like a stressful situation and I would try to keep that in mind when dealing with your sill. Not the asshole. But I have a really hard time believing 12 and 8 are spending the whole day at the construction site. And not sneaking snacks when they take bathroom breaks etc. And if she doesn't want help cleaning the bathroom then maybe there is a chore your kids could help. With to make up for it. 14 meters 12 f 8 meters who are spending all day at a construction site can't be super clean in the bathroom. If you can't find compromise and I agree your kids shouldn't clean her whole house. I'd suggest finding elsewhere to stay. A chore list probably isn't worth creating a family rift over. If you guys are doing construction all day. And using their house for the bathroom. How much dirt are you bringing into the house multiple times a day? Construction is not clean work. And are you only in the house one person at a time? Or are there times when someone is waiting for the bathroom to be empty? If so, where do they wait? Are you always in their house with your kids to make sure they stay off furniture carpeted areas? While covered in construction dirt waiting for the bathroom? The chore list is too much. But you might need to reevaluate the impact you are having on her house. I would absolutely agree to the kids cleaning the bathroom or maybe sweeping the path they take to the toilet. Entire sister is.